Hi you guys, happy World Book Day and I thought as a special treat I would take you through my bookshop shelves. So it's this like my little mini World Book Day book fair uh, from the comfort of your own home. I have lots of beautiful Osborne books and they're all available from me but there are many more in the catalogue so what ones shall I pick out ah fiction we have Compton Valance Nisha Accidental Detective Unipiggle Freddy Yates The Girl Who Speaks Bear and The House With Chicken Legs brilliant books for oh anywhere between 6 and 11 I'd say for those and then we have our young adult fiction. I've got a few of these here, but there are lots of new ones actually. I've got the Extinction Trials, Yankee Girls, Sea Fire, Kick, The Pieces of Ourselves. So many different uh, variety of types of books, you know, science fiction, fantasy, seafaring, a sort of pirate swashbuckling one. Kick is about football. The Pieces of Ourselves is a historical, uh, sort of mental health, war, post-war drama, um, fantastic fiction. There's the reading catalogues range, so uh, hundreds of these of all different ages and you can progress through the reading levels. Uh, some of them come in a boxed set, so they're really good value, if, uh, £40 for all these books as an example, and these are the... Uh, more confident readers range from seven to nine years old. Uh, what's on my next shelf? Ah, a few little activity books. We have our magic painting books, which uh, I've gone through a couple of these myself. I like to do them myself. They're lovely. Have a mindfulness. Oops, upside down. Cut colouring activity. Um, we actually have an unworry one, and it is a lovely mindfulness activity. Oh, I've got white clean activity books, so they can do the mazes again and again. That's for little children. Mermaid things to make and do. Let's have a look. About lots of different crafty ideas, making a necklace, making mermaids, making a shell purse. Gorgeous, tiny little book, only five ninety nine. Oh, we have another one hidden back there. First colouring book: weddings and bridesmaids. How cool is that for a wedding favour? $3.99. I have quite a number of these pencil and paper games tear out sheet books. They were in the sale at half price, but look, it's beautiful. Lots of little games to do. And half price. So only $3.99. Remember those while well, you can. Uh, more activity books. We have a different range of word searches. And things like 100 Things to Do on a Journey. This is a neat little book for a car trip or a train trip or an aeroplane trip, dare I say it. And those are half price too. So they are two ninety nine. Only the ones that I've got on my shelf here. I have a bunch of weird ones that don't fit in anywhere. This is my weird things pile. So I've got the big make your own comics book. It's a big uh, tear off sheet pad, and you can draw your own comics. The drumming book, which is a musical book, and you can press the little drums, and it has it drum patterns to follow. The wind-up bus book, of all the wind-ups, this is my favourite. 
uh, because you can pull all the different map pages out and make a really long map and then set your bus going along. It's brill. Uh, I should do a video of that later. I've got some starting school bits and pieces. So starting school sticker books and uh, my first book about me. This one is really nice actually. I think it might be out of stock. This has got stickers as well. And teaches you all about yourself as a very little person. How nice. I've got two of those. And they're 5 99 If you want to grab one, they're the only ones left. Um, also, the only ones left are these Fold Out and Colour London and Rub Down Transfer Book. So you can rub over with a pencil all these transfers. But this is amazing. It folds out to make this enormous colouring in project. How good is that? I absolutely love this. I've only got three and they are half price. Bargain. Grab one. Well, you can. All right, this is my big bookshelf. I have got make this medieval castle. You cut out the castle model and you can literally make that castle. How cool. That's $7.99, which is an absolute bargain of an activity. That should keep them occupied for quite some time. I've got sticker dolly dressing, fashion designer, the spring and summer collection, which is good for now. Uh, this is a double book, spring and summer, so it's $9.99. But for that, you get loads of stuff, loads of stickers, loads of pages to make your dressing up dollies. So that one's a really good value, actually, $9.99, because it's going to last for a long time. Some For people who don't like dollies, you can build your own aliens as a sticker book. Or you can do sticker dolly dressing World War theme. Slightly more educational. An activity to do with great grandma, maybe. Or great granddad. I think that's a very cool book. And that uh, is also $9.99. Oh, I've got these half price children's encyclopedias, which are massive. So half price from down from twenty four ninety nine, really good value for an encyclopedia. Um, some of the see inside books, see inside your body. These there are lots in this range, and they are quite firm board books, but they have lots of flaps to lift to discover information to learn about the body. How cool is that? But those are very popular. They are $9.99. Um, I've got Sea Inside Ships. So they do all kinds of different subjects. This one is very cool for children who love boats. And ships and it's got all the historic types of vessels and you can even go up to the more modern types of boats submarines cruise ships titanic type ships there's a big fold out section about battle stations which is amazing Great book. They're all $9.99, the books in that range. Um, they also have a kind of educational topic ones. So I've got Lift the Flap Grammar and Punctuation. Again, I love these. 
because I don't even know what is a determiner. I don't know. I should probably read this book. I'll lift the flap and it will tell me all about it. Do we all know what an adverb is? If you don't, better buy the book. <laughs> they go younger, you can get the, lift the flap first sums. And the great thing is, you know, the solution is hidden. You get to count the flower or you can see the number and you get the solution. Fabulous. Uh, the lift the flat first sums uh, is actually half price, so you can get that from me for a fiver. I've only got three copies left. This is a beautiful book. The complete book of riding and pony care. If you know someone who started riding or does riding like as their hobby, it's their thing that they love. Look at this, how detailed it is. Fantastic. Uh, 9 There's a theme going on here in this shelf. Uh, I have an art activity book. This one's popular. Because you can actually, by looking at famous historic art, it has activities based on that art. And you can draw your own, make your own. And there's things like mazes. A lovely activity book and it's 9.99 lift the flap colors this is one i want to give to lucy at one point some point because when she's learning her colors this is a nice interactive way to do it Nine ninety nine. We've got ah some graphic novels. Now this one's quite cool. It's a hardback one, The Hound of the Baskervilles, and so good for reluctant readers, and it could go right up to teens. If you've got someone who's into comics, then these are they they're classics. They tend to be classics. What else have I got? I've got The Wizard of Oz. This one's not a hardback. Look how nice is that? So, you know, it could be that you've got, that I've got things like um, Hamlet and Macbeth and things like that you can get. Um, so if you've got a school book that you're reading and you've got a reluctant reader, it's a really good idea. My first outdoor book. Oh, I'm going to keep saying this. I love this book, but the, the only books I have on my shelves are the ones I love, and that I get them as my free books for doing Osborne. Um, and this I think is from age sort of three or four up, actually. Obviously, you read it to them, but it's all sorts of things about. Exploring the outdoors, which is fantastic for this time of year. Ooh. Ah, another one that I got for Lucy, the Lift the Flap Word Book. Because she's just starting to say some words. But she will say moo instead of cow. And ba instead of sheep. Actually, she'll say ba for a lot of animals. Strange girl. But yeah, I can't, you know, this is what I need. I need to be able to point to pictures to teach her the words of things. I better put some of these back or I'll get in a right little mess. Uh, we have got a, a new type of encyclopedia, but it's for younger children. My first encyclopedia, and it's a really lovely design, this one full of gorgeous images things to explore take it off the shelf and find out about something new 
Uh, and then my first encyclopedias are sixteen ninety nine. These two books, uh, the Miss Molly School of Manners, is a really popular, long-standing bestseller from Usborne, uh, and it is actually a story uh, about a school where you are learning lessons about having good manners. Um, and they have just released the next in the series, Miss Molly's School of Kindness. So along the same lines, learning about what it means to be kind with lots of examples, really, because they're having conversations about it in the school. Love those. Uh, they are 9 99 Finger Trout ABC. Now, this is for more Lucy's age, something like 18 months plus, and they might, you might be really keen to get them to learn their alphabet, which is pretty uh, ambitious at that age. However, Lucy does now really like finger trails. So if I can get her to follow these, that's a really early start to understanding letter making. So that is a beautiful book. And Definitely nine ninety nine. I don't even have to look. My very first long ago book. It's a, another one of my freebies. Uh, very cool introduction to history. And you know, I think we could all learn a thing or two <laughs> about more ancient times. Nine ninety nine. When's it not going to be 9.99? Listen and learn. Get ready for school. We always have some good uh, starting school books. And if any of you have just, uh, I think you're just about to learn your places, aren't you? So uh, which school you're getting into, best of luck. And uh, something like this. Uh, uh, it, with using the sounds you plug it's, it's interesting this one you plug the different cards in and then it will make the different sounds it's quite cool it's like a little computer book um 12.99 here we go right a few of these really nice style of activity books from Osborne they are spiral bound so something to keep and this is a baking book these have been so popular during lockdown uh, and in the same style we have my first chess book Whew. I could never understand chess really so I should probably read that gardening for beginners another topic that I'm not that great at, I know a bit now, but certain things uh, do, do baffle me, like why do my herbs always die? So I should probably <laughs> have a look at this, but this is wonderful for, for spring just starting, we're going to be getting out into the gardens if you've got one. Um, yeah. Ah, the Write Your Own Story range, I love these. If you have got someone who likes to write stories or even has a task to write stories in school and doesn't really like doing it because they can't think what they want to write, this has lots of good ideas and tips and ways that they can sort of brainstorm to improve their creative writing. Very cool. All right, some more creative type books. Medieval Patterns, which is a colouring book. It's quite cool because it's hardback. So you don't have to find that tray <laughs> to, to lean on. Um, Rub Down Transfer Flowers book. This one's half price too, as I had that in the sale. It's really beautiful. And you've got all these little transfers to scribble on. Um, it's it's nine ninety nine, so it's only a fiver. I've got two of those left. Ooh, another London book. Pop him in the right place. Keep my shelves organised. 
the fingerprint activities. I love these. There are so many different kinds. You can get cats, you can get unicorns, you can get dragons, you can get bugs. I don't know if you can get dragons actually. Just made that up. They should make one if you can't. Spiral bound. Loads of little pages. Take them ages to get through this. And you've got your paints on the side. Fingerprint. And uh, fill it in like it says. Filling in the extra dots all along the snake. Making the turtles. The things. Uh, how cute is that? How to make a bird's nest. Oh, I love them. Love them. Uh, and they're nine ninety nine. Now, these are astonishing books. They are massive. They are only twelve ninety nine, and it is a huge spiral bound, glossy paged book, full and brimming with three hundred and sixty five things to make and do. Which, you know, I think you needed that on lockdown, didn't you? But school holidays coming <laughs> and we're not quite out and free yet are we this range it's a set of three but there is a new one coming we've got all about feelings all about families and all about friends hardback book paper inside and it explores these topics in a really lovely way how do we be friends with people how not to be friends how to make friends it's really lovely explores in a very modern way an up-to-date way and the, uh, the next book that's coming out in that series is all about diversity I really recommend those uh, uh, they are $9.99 we have the Osborne book of the moon now this is a really popular book and there are some fantastic activities available with this book kind of a teacher pack uh, so get in touch if you're interested in that and if if anyone who buys this book i'll send the the activity set as well but if you want to know everything there is to know about the moon then this is the book for you i was always obsessed with the moon when i was little i didn't understand it always wanted a telescope that was 12.99 uh, we have got the usborn i'm not very afraid of the dark book this is very cute and very popular to explore the darkness and that can be quite scary for everybody not just little children and this book has lots of cut out pages and as you go through the story you see things turn to light things that might seem scary in the dark are actually quite easily explained when the light comes on how lovely is that see they look like scary eyes but it's just the octopus teddy and everything looks like scary eyes in the dark scary monsters but it's just your toys gorgeous book Um, twelve ninety nine that one. Oh, this is one of my all time favourites, and I've been looking at this with Lucy since she was probably six months old and able to sit upright. Um, because although you know she's not got a hundred first words yet, however, she loves these pictures, and we used to go. She used to go raw for the lion. And look, it's just so much to explore on the page. It's absolutely beautiful. And, and I would read this as a bedtime story. I know there's nothing to read, but I would make up a little story on every page. And we would find the duck. <laughs> and we would talk about, this reminded me of being in 
in Costa before lockdown, <laughs> back when life was normal and I was on maternity leave. And this is what it was like to be in Costa. We've got a farm scene. And the nice thing that makes this a bedtime book is that the last page is going to bed in this girl's messy room. I love that book, 9 99 And it's a, a sort of thin board book, so it's, you know, not easily destructible. I have, these are out of stock, and I'm sure they'll come back into stock before uh, school starts, but I have two available and it's all you need to know before you start school and it's absolutely one of the best books for this topic that I've ever seen because how scary can it be you're going to school what's going to happen and the things do I do I know everything that I need to know before I've started just to give them that reassurance and confidence of how things work. You can talk about it together. And if you come back from school and say, oh, I didn't understand this thing. and Other children are doing this. Well, let's step through this book and, and have a chat about it. And that's 9 99 Two more left on my big bookshelf. Press out paper towns. I love this. I love it so much. I really want to play with it myself. You can press out all these little uh, cardboard cutouts. So you don't have to use the scissors, but you, you know, they'll, they'll probably need a bit of help not to destroy it. And it makes all these cool little cardboard tops and buildings for it to make your own town. And I think that's wonderful. I would have just loved that as a child. <laughs> $12.99. And then for dolls fans, press out paper dolls. And this one is a you know on the same lines of sticker dolly. I used to have something like this when I was a child. Lovely. Lovely. $12.99. Alright, that's my big shelf. Jigsaws. There are loads of these, uh, different uh, sizes depending on the age, you know, and their ability. Uh, you can get 100 piece, 200 piece and 300 piece. You can also get new um, two piece jigsaws for, for babies and toddlers, which I've got a couple on the way. Hopefully I'll have a video of those later. Uh, they always come with a book as well, so you can learn as well as doing the puzzle and the jigsaws are all 9.99 they're really beautiful um, this london one is my favorite one well because i lived in london for a while gorgeous that's not my that's not my range i've got a bunch of these that are quite springy actually so if you fancy a spring goodie bag with a that's not my and some colouring and some other fun things then uh, let me know I'll be doing spring goodie bags for £10 this year Find the Duck has just come back in stock so if you want this as a as a little Easter present I can do the same same deal uh, it's the original famous Osborne book you find the duck on every page and lots of the Osborne books are actually find the duck books um, even the ones that you wouldn't expect the little board books collection this is a uh, really good value uh, because I, it's only oh, I think it's like 15 pounds I'll have to check for the whole set so individually there I think 4.99 uh, but it's reduced and it's in this cute little box set and weirdly you wouldn't think it but these are some of Lucy's favorite books if she spots one of these on the shelf she will go to it and she um she for for many weeks she kept coming up to me with that top one and saying rain rain she wants me to read the rain book to her oh it's adorable so this is this is why I like doing this it's making memories like that 
for families with their kids. That's something I'll always remember. We've got on this shelf all kinds of odd things, actually. So, origami. Uh, and they just released another one of these called Easy Origami as well. Uh, tear off sheets. They're eight ninety nine, and I think that makes a nice Mother's Day present. There you go. A drawing a day. I love this book. I got this when I was doing a a craft store, and I wanted things on the store that uh, promoted arts and crafts. Again, if you just want an activity every day. It's teaching you how to draw little shapes. 366 drawings and it's only 9 99 Another tear out sheet book and there are a few of these but this is the birds one. 100 birds to fold and fly and you're basically making paper aeroplanes. Loads and loads of paper aeroplanes and it tells you how to make all the different types. And you can get dragons, you can get spaceships, and you can just get normal aeroplanes. Those are really popular on lockdown. Uh, it's $9.99. The this bunting wasn't a good idea, was it? The look inside space, look inside range is a bit like the sea inside range, if you remember the sort of larger see inside for the slightly older children the look inside is for a, a younger and these are 9.99 they're a bit thicker because the boards inside are a bit thicker uh, and the the content is a, a slightly younger aimed at Very cool. Everyone loves space. I've sold a few of those. All right. If you've got space nerds, there goes the bunting. There you go. If you've got space nerds, you might have coding nerds. I'm a coding nerd. I did computer science. And I learned to code. I have no idea how to code anymore but it's a very good skill to have because even if you don't actually go into a job doing coding it really helps you understand logic and patterns and I think it's it's great that all children are learning this now and this is the Scratch Junior so for younger children something like from the age of five and you can download what you need for free and just get going on these activities and this version is up to date, so it's the latest version. You can get one that's uh, got all the different things you can code in Scratch. And also you can get the Python one as well. This is one of the little baby board books. Where's the busy bee? And it is a spotting book. And actually, I just noticed that Lucy will like this now because she has now started to point out the little mouse in the That's Not My Books, which is a bit of a milestone. So I'm going to have to test her on this one to see if she can find the different things. It's surprising how long it takes them, really. They call this a baby book, but the baby isn't going to be able to find those things. So I think that's good for a, you know, 16 month old like Lucy. Now I have a big pile of these because they are Lucy's go-to book. If I need her to calm down a little bit because she's getting a bit hyper, um, she <laughs> loves these sound books. So you can get story ones uh, and they have a few in the phonics series. Um, she loves the Cinderella one actually and it will read the story to you. The 
Don't Tickle range, which are a bit like the That's Not My Books, but they're a bit bigger. Um, and so they're touchy-feely, but when you press, it makes the noises. And it's very cool. Uh, you can get, oh gosh, I hope I can remember. You can get Dinosaur, Lion, Hippo. They've just released Pig and also Tiger. Um, and the last page of these is what sends Lucy into fits of giggles. It's always a, a sort of a song. And all the dinosaurs make their noises together. So for toddlers, these are fantastic. They're probably like the, my number one recommended book for sort of age one and up. Um, and what she gets a lot out of actually are the sounds books and there are about mm, seven or eight I think different kinds of these and she's got them all and she loves them all and she will explore these for ages and she can now press the buttons herself she's been doing that since about 14 months we are learning our animals and all our animals noise uh, noises um we've got bird sounds you can get dinosaur sounds the first one she ever had was woodland sounds which was a gift so it was i think pretty much her first usborn book um before i was doing usborn and it, even as a baby it was her favorite bedtime story it really calmed her down and got her ready for sleeping because the woodland sounds ones actually quite relaxing noises, sort of river sounds and rustling noises in the woods. Um, night sounds is also good. She likes this. It's a bit different because it's got a a train and a bus and some uh, bells on the church. Um, so she this one's a bit more interesting because it's not just animals. Uh, there are also the kind of music books and again this was um, these types were one of her go-to bedtime books Oop, turn it on and it just plays different classical tunes and we have the quiet time we've still got it in her room the quiet time music book and didn't never ever failed to calm her down when she was upset before bed when she was a bit overtired. Uh, the sound books are generally twelve ninety nine, by the way. And this is another uh, calming music book. Oops. I think babies do respond to classical music, don't they? Oh, I've got, um, I'll leave the music going, shall I? Uh, these are not sound books, but they come with an audio CD and it's the Phonics series, all in one big book. There's some activities and things at the end. Um, they're not all in one book because there's hundreds of them. But I've got a couple of, of these and they come with the CD, which uh, you can put on in the car, can't you, on a journey. I've got Fat Cat on a Map version. Uh, at the bottom there, I've got the complete book of Farmyard Tales. Poppy and Sam's Farmyard Tales are really popular um, from sort of age two as a book to read to them. And then as a sort of starting to read first book. Um, and I'm pointing that out because that's a whole set of the Farmyard Tales books for $14.99. But you can also get them individually as picture books. Which are great for little hands to hold. Um, and Lucy has started to look at these. Uh, these are nice stories because they always start in the same way 
this is apple tree farm so and they always have at the top the easy reading text they call it dual reading and then at the bottom more complicated reading so the child can learn to read at the top the, the adult can add more to the story and also the child can improve their reading when they move up through to the next level and they're they're quite comforting books i understand because they always you know have very familiar ways that they start and the, the characters in them uh, and they're all just sort of silly silly farm stories uh, and those picture books are quite similar to the phonics readers uh, and these there's always a new one out of these every month near nearly near about um, I was thinking of doing a sort of a subscription to collect them all but they're really funny they're because they're rhyming phonics um, lovely picture books and it just kind of helps to uh, sort of if if uh, when the child is learning through phonics you can say well what phonic have you been reading uh, learning this week and then find the book that that matches it doesn't teach you phonics but it does um, sort of s supplement that as a, in, a, in their story um, so a lot of the phonics books I've got come from the box set um, because they're normally 5 99 but in a box set you can get however many 12 or 14 or something like that for 24.99 um maybe more than that because they turn out they come out to about a pound each something like that um bit bit more so uh th those are out of stock they get always go out of stock really quickly so if you ever want one of these let me know if you're after one because then i can grab them when they come back in stock um, I've got one left, maybe two left, but I'm pretty sure just one. I've opened one for, for Lucy um, and I sometimes use them as prizes for giveaways and things like that. What else is on my middle shelf? Uh, some of the storybooks. So we have lots of different types of the Poppy and Sam's stories. So they're not farmyard tales stories as such oh no i'm wrong they are farmyard tales stories and they're oh right so they they are the farmyard tales stories but they are the animal based ones oh that's cute i didn't realize that um so that those are 12.99 so they're lovely for a bedtime story shelf you know next to a child's bed they have fairy stories for bedtime so these are not farmyard tale stories these are just fairy stories rewritten for farmyard tale the ta farmyard tales characters and you can find the duck on every page um a similar type this is not a farmyard tales one but it's aesop's fables for little children um and they will come Fully illustrated. They're a nice gift book. And then going up the age slightly, oh, is um they have the Osborne Illustrated range, and it's a particular story like the Odyssey, and it's quite a, a higher level reading. Uh, probably thinking like age eight plus um but it's it's a sort of a, an adapted version of the original and those are 14 pounds they're more like a gift book but you can get a few different types i'm trying to think what now like dickens and certain shakespeare ones um i think a lot of them are out of stock because they were really popular as christmas presents but let me know if you're looking for a gift um because they they are really good uh, we have got, uh, there are several in this series, uh, actually, so let's look at this one. This is one of the Look Inside range, 
and it's a bit like was this yes it's the same range as the space one that i showed you this is on a different sort of topic what happens when you eat so it's a bit like a body book but it's all about eating digestion so i showed you see inside your body and this is for younger children really to make it simpler because they're not expected to understand everything about all what the things in the body are called but they all might have lots of questions and this is a great lift the flap way of exploring a topic of that one uh, and there are loads of different topics of that so just have a look on the website um, my website's always bookshoponthehill.com um, but give me a shout if you're after something and I can help you find it there are about 3,000 books in the catalogue so it can be tricky to find things that you need uh, these books are beautiful the first questions and answers now there are the very first questions and answer range which is on my next shelf down and, and they're for very little children, so from age, say, three, some of them are age four. Um, the first questions and answers are more for age five and up. Um, this one has been super popular and has gone out of stock several times. What are feelings? And it's a lift the flap way to ask questions and get the answers. Why don't we feel happy all the time? And it's just a, a really nice way to have a conversation about these topics that can be really confusing and really hard to answer these questions as well. And I think they're, they're just really practical ways of dealing with subjects like this. The 9.99 and more others in the series. We've got where do babies come from? If you're you've got a slightly older child who's trying to figure out life the universe and everything um and why do things die which is an incredibly hard topic for that age um and it ex explores it in a very gentle way And again, it's, it's lift, lift the flap. So it's got a lot of detail in a really accessible format. It's not a book full of text. It's not really dumbing it down as a cartoon or a, just a story that they have to try and digest and understand. But it's simple questions and answers. I love those books <clears throat> and I really recommend them if you've got difficult uh, subjects to talk about. Now for the younger ages, um, we have the very first questions and answers and the questions are a bit simpler. They're perhaps not as tricky, but they're tricky in their own way, like things that toddlers just struggle with and just don't want to do. Why should we brush our teeth? <laughs> and it's a, this is these are more sort of fun way of exploring a topic when you've got a resistant child. Are you potty training? This one's great. I've got a few of these for obvious reasons. What are germs? Teaches about hand washing. Um, how can you stop? Getting germs, cleanliness, how do they spread, where do they live, what are they? Right, we're nearly there, we're getting there. We've been going through all my Osborne shelves, packed with beautiful books, uh, especially for World Book Day, to just celebrate reading and learning and books little ones I want to show you the peep inside range now you can get peep inside for topics like trees or you can get peep inside 
a fairy tale. Uh, they are hardback, suitable for toddlers, um, board books with lift the flaps. I can find the flap. And cutouts, laser cut little holes, which I always wondered what that was for. But they're actually really useful for helping them turn the page because my little Lucy will always turn the page using that hole. How funny. Um, I wouldn't trust her with this book. I think those flaps are going to get ripped off. So I think this is more from age two or three. Um, I've got Peep Inside the Sea. Although I do read that one with her, Peep Inside the Sea. Um, I just don't let her play with it on her own, I suppose. The Peep Inside a Fairy Tale range, we've got Little Red Riders and Cinderella. There is a special offer on those at the moment. I'll post all the special offers later. Um, these are lovely because the whole book kind of forms this cool tunnel of a scene to take you through this fairy tale. Oops, I'm pointing you in the complete wrong direction. Um, there are flaps to lift as well to continue reading the story. And a really lovely illustration in these. But they're a lovely gift. Um, really nice as a bedtime story for a toddler. It's just a nice version of a fairy tale. You could just get it in a picture book. But why when you can have all this to explore? Just something a bit special. And those are 9 99 uh, Oh yeah, I've got a couple of these pocket books. Pocket fashion drawing book. I think that's cool for an adult, to be honest. Just a doodling book, isn't it? And a colouring book. They're only 5 99 I've got that. And in the same range, I've got up here a puzzle book as well. Not so much for an adult. They're children's puzzles. I don't know though. Find things. Put them up there. Uh, baby books. Baby books. Oh, I've gone through so many of these. I used to be the world's expert at baby books because I joined Osborne when Lucy was about five months old. So we would trial the baby books. This is cool. This is a it's hard to do it with one hand. A fold out book book. It's very long. Good for first words. And one that they can sort of get on the floor and play with. That was a complete disaster. I apologise. Doubt you saw that. Let's move on. The slide and see books are pretty cool. They have these little slidey parts. Um, <laughs> just a really interesting different take on a board book really. Um, and then we've got all, all these are the touchy feely range. So the play books. Um, they have knobbly bits, finger trails, shiny bits, um, touchy feely bits. Now some of them have flaps and some of them do not. If you want me to recommend which ones do not have flaps because you're fed up with your child ripping all their flaps out of the books, then let me know. I know that this one does not have flaps, the very first touchy feely animals playbook. Um, the clue sometimes in the name, here we've got very first touchy feely lift the flap play playbook. Um, touchy feely farm playbook does have flaps, even though it doesn't say it. And the first touchy feely colours playbook. I have no idea if that has flaps. So if you're interested, you'll have to ask and I'll find out. I've got a few of these cool snap card packs. They're only 5 99 and they come in lots of different topics. But they're really nice big cards for playing snap. I've 
got snap in French. You can get all sorts of things, fairies uh, and the different languages. But that's very cool, isn't it? If you're learning French. Uh, these are sort of my new favourite books for spring. The Osborne Minis range. We've got bugs, trees and birds. There's flowers as well. And they are a very small little pocket book. They're only $3.99. And it just tells you all the information about all the different things that you spot when you're out on your walks, which is so good for spring. Um, there are some new ones coming out. They are not yet in stock. When they are, I'll give you a shout. Um, and I can't remember what they are, so that was useless of me to say that. But for three ninety nine, they're a really lovely little cute Easter gift. Um, I've already looked at what are germs. Along similar lines, the not the very first questions and answers, but the first questions and answers. So for slightly older children, this is a new release. What is a virus? And it goes into quite a bit more detail and it's really interesting actually uh, and again a lift the flap book how do they spread why should i wash my hands is hand sanitizer better than soap do you know the answer to that question i think we all do now what is a vaccine exploring all the different viruses including COVID-19 and it gives you sort of stats it's like top trumps for viruses <laughs> um, and some yeah some though you know quite difficult topics you've got polio you've got AIDS and actually yeah AIDS isn't a virus I was just about to say HIV um, yeah, and how can we fight them? Different ways. Mask wearing. Hand washing. That's great. It's so great for the. I mean, I wish they they didn't know that uh, before this was published that this was going to happen. So it's just a um, well, that the what are germs that just sold out immediately. And I think that, so the what is a virus has come out since, so they knew it's got COVID-19 in it and it's really up to date. Um, but the what are germs and there's a um, see inside germs, those were made and published before COVID-19. So it was just a total coincidence that they were coming out last year and they sold out immediately. They, they didn't order enough copies, but they're back in stock now. Uh, but what is a virus? Plenty of that in stock. They're well prepared for that one. Um, ah, here's Don't Tickle the Tiger. One of the Don't Tickle ranges that I mentioned before. The Baby's Very First Little Black and White Library. These are a cute gift. Four tiny little board books as your baby's very first book. Something for tiny hands. And it's just pictures like this on each page. Um, and it's only six ninety nine for the little box set. I've got a few of those in stock for my market stalls, but you can get those online. The bus book. Now, this was Lucy's favourite for ages. Um, it's quite a cool little story, actually, about waiting for a bus and the people ending up on the bus and where are they going. Um, but it also functions fully as a bus. And she would sit and spin these. When she was about one, she would sit and spin these for ages. Gives me ten minutes peace. And they're seven ninety nine. Okay, we're nearly there. I'm gonna skip down to this bottom shelf because I did for the little board books. Um these sets Whoa, it's all going. Um these lovely box sets are the That's Not My Book and the Cuddly Toy. And 
actually I need to find my other one but the toy in this is adorable it actually has the little green spots on the back you can't really see it in there so it doesn't do it justice um, but it has the green spots on the back so you cannot mistake that it is the the dinosaur in this book you can get also I've got a, that's not my unicorn version um, I think I have one fairy left in stock as well um, they are normally £16 but I can do them for half price £8 so really nice for a gift give me a shout if you'd like one all these books that just fell over like dominoes are the embroidery kits they are 9 99 and it comes with the embroidery hoop the thread and all the instructions you need step by step to make that lovely uh, picture and it's a really good first introduction to sewing okay. uh, I've got owl llama fairy flamingo I think they have fairy and unicorn as well not sure what's in stock online but I've got a few here uh, these playbooks are awesome uh, Lucy's got the baby's very first musical playbook um, and the sounds come from these buttons and each page uh, so it's like the the baby playbooks but like a more advanced version so it's got the same stuff like finger trails and flaps to lift and then some pages it's got shiny things and it's got um, they've often got like puffy bits and touchy feely parts there we go there's a squashy flower um, and each page has its own little tune so it'll usually be a, a little tune in on, along the, that theme so in the musical playbook that Lucy really likes it's got a space part and it plays twinkle twinkle little star and she always goes for that song first when she <laughs> has a look at it. So I won't like this one's um, tagged so that the battery doesn't run out. But really nice. Uh, they are fourteen ninety nine. So a really big, thick, high quality book. Before we go to Billy, I've got a bunch of these practice pads for times tables mostly for dividing sums um these are in my sale so they're half price so they are only three pound fifty uh and they're like a tear out sheet there's lots of different types of practice that you can get in so if you're feeling a bit behind on your time tables or your division these are really good just sort of throwaway books really because they're printed on quite sort of thin paper it can all be recycled um, it's a cardboard cardboard front um, now Billy and the Mini Monsters this is a story of a young boy and their books are suitable from probably about age four or five and the boy is fairly nervous and worried about lots of things um, so each story in the series explores a different topic this one is exploring being afraid of the dark um, I've got another one that is about going to school and dealing with a school bully there are lots of different things like going camping and all sorts going on a plane and the his uh, monster friends are there to sort of help him figure out how to get through his uh, his nerves about these things so if you've got a kid who has some worries that's a lovely fun way to, to sort of explore it with them Billy and the mini monsters uh, they are only 4 99 I think yeah 4 99 and remember any of the books uh, you can get a pound off with your world book day token right we're very nearly there this is the last set of books um pussycat pussycat where have you been a classic little rhyme um in a picture book format and it's actually a story 
that continues the rhyme and you can get I think New York and another one I can't remember where in the world in that series we've had a look at the Wizard of Oz graphic novel I'm going to look at it again because it is just gorgeous Oh, there's a catalogue, last year's catalogue. If you would like a new catalogue, I have some copies. If you want to be a catalogue fairy uh, and you manage to find £120 worth of orders uh, by showing this catalogue to friends and family, then you get 10% uh, on top of everything that you uh, collect in orders, plus uh, a couple of free books and some half price books. Like you can get quite a lot for being my catalogue fairy. If you're interested, do let me know. It's really easy. And if if you are interested in sort of joining us born books yourself, that can be a really good introduction. I'm in the right pickle here on my shelf, look. Um, a good introduction to sort of work out, is it for you? You know, could you actually sell books? Because when I joined, I wasn't really sure it was just going to be a hobby, but it turned out to be quite good at it. So there you go. And it's good fun. So, yeah, just pop me a <laughs> message. Oh, this is a disaster. Okay. Little Children's Nature Activity Book. I love this one. It's really cute and it's perfect for springtime. Uh, Easter holidays, people. Let's have some activities about nature. Uh... Oh, there's a few of these, so let's have a look. We've got the four beginners set. So we've got climate crisis. Wow, how up to date is that? These are 9 99 We've got amazing discoveries of 100 brilliant scientists, one of the STEM range. Um, it particularly explores women scientists as well, which is great. Uh, beginners range. Philosophy. Amazing. And economics, amazing. These I can, they're on my list. I mean to read these myself because they're actually for, they're obviously for older children, but they're really detailed. Interest rates, monopolies. It was the budget day yesterday. We all need this to understand what it is they're doing and whether they are telling us lies <laughs> so <laughs> um philosophy may help us deal with the aftermath when we realize we can't do anything about it anyway the unworry book is gorgeous 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 absolute favorite book that came out in 2020 uh it's like a mindfulness book for young people so they can just go through and explore all the different things. There's things like patterns and scribbling your feelings down. And, and, and it does sort of explore, you know, worries and how to deal with them. So good. It should win awards. Uh, and it's only eight ninety nine. What a great gift. And... They, it was so popular that they made another one called the Unhurry Book. So although the Worry Book is, is more specific and trying to actually explore worries for children who might be worried, the Unhurry Book is for anyone who might not be worried. And it is about taking time out. And this is really is like a, one of those mindfulness magazines. Um, it's just activities, ways to chill. How nice is that? I think if I was going on holiday this year, I would take this with me as my things to do book. Personally, I'm not even, you know, desperately trying to sell books there. That is my actual opinion. <laughs> um, the Never Get Bored series. Uh, you've got Never Get Bored, Never Get Bored Outdoors, which I believe is out of stock for obvious reasons. Um, but the new one that came out, Never Get Bored, Draw and Paint. And this is uh, slightly more detailed, really, than, say, the Unhurry book, which is a more relaxed way 
of, of doing some activities. This is, you know, if you've got someone into drawing and painting and they want to improve their skills at doing it and, you know, come up with different ideas for things they can try. If you've got someone really arts and craftsy, then look at this. It's amazing. How do they come up with all of these ideas? And actually for the uh, Never Get Bored books, there are lots of free activities online and sheets that you can print out. Uh, nearly there, I promise. On the topic of nature, we've got Poppy and Sam's Nature Spotting Book. And this is, I think it said from age two or maybe three. And obviously you explore it with them because it's quite detailed, but it was surprisingly young because it's the Poppy and Sam range. But it's like a spotting book. Uh, so like one of those minis that's a bit too advanced for young children. Um, but I think that's a nice way for, an, for a grown up to explore nature with a very young toddler. Um, because there's things in it for them as well. Okay, two more to go. The Scribble Books. Oh, I keep saying things are my favourite. It's like I can't decide. But these are my favourite too. I like Bruce Forsyth. Um, the Osborne Stem Scribble Books are amazing. And I've got a parent who, uh, with a child who has ASD. And these are amazing for their learning. They will not easily sit down and read a book about a topic um it's really hard for them to sit and concentrate for that long but these scribble books are a way of exploring a topic like inventions and technology as uh, a science one i think as well uh, an architecture one um and it's a way for them to not just get bombarded with text and boring information they actually do something about it and they can scribble in there and do the activities you know and it's all a bit crazy you know it changes sides and which way round it is so for the mentally interesting child the creative child the child who has a bit more get up and go these are just amazing i think they're amazing technology as well so I know a little boy who's really interested in inventions and I'm going to give this as a gift. Um, the last books on my shelves are, well, we've got a little first colouring book, 4 99 There's a few of those. I think there is a springtime one which could go in your Easter bag. Oh, probably my best seller when I do a market stall are the little sticker dolly dressing books uh, just endlessly fun I hesitate to say little girls but ultimately it is little girls who come to me on my stool and want these they're only 5 .99, so and actually they're reusable so the stickers you can put them up peel them on and off um, and just keep dressing up your dollies uh, and they come in oh, dozens of different types so we've got pixie i've got fairy actually uh yeah pick more pixies and fairies and also i've got a ballerina one there are loads you can get some that are like uh that have jobs in them or astronauts and all kinds of stuff it doesn't have to be super girly fairy arts you know that sort of thing um yeah really popular all right i think I'm finally done. I've just noticed a pile of books on this chair that I haven't shown you. <gasps> Atlases and Planet Earth and there's a xylophone. Can you see the xylophone? The xylophone music book. I will save those for another day. Uh, and I didn't even get to your the wipe cleans. The wipe cleans. But look at my book fair uh, power sort of uh, YouTube video later and you'll see some white cleans in there it's just endless there's too many look at this catalogue look at all these books if i had them all they would not fit in my house it's bad enough as it is 
Osborne Books. It's amazing. I love it. Have a wonderful World Book Day. And if you want to buy some books, buy some books. Great. If you want some free activities, look on my group because I'm posting loads of free activities all this week. Um, if you want free books for your child's school, Osborne do an amazing thing where they, they sort of gift 60% um, extra free books on top of a school order if it comes to £600. So they can get £1,000 worth of books for £600 and you can do that all through fundraising so the school doesn't have to spend anything. I can also do author visits. Um, I have Serena Patel who is the author of Anisha Accidental Detective. She is going to a school in Croydon next week. Not going to. She's doing a virtual visit for each of their year groups. So she's doing six virtual lessons for them, all about being an author. And there are some special World Book Day activities for the Anisha book as well, um, which I have posted in my group. So if you want a detective challenge, uh, we've got a challenge from Matt Brown as well. I've got a few more coming up actually. So keep an eye for the rest of the week. Happy World Book Day and I will see you later. Bye.